Hey guys, you know, I have always said I paint lures to go fishing. That's the reason I paint for myself and for fishing. We've got a small lake here that Bob and I have fished a few times, and it has a, what I guess you'd call a shallow flat, where the water's anywhere from four, five, six foot deep for a big area. It has vegetation sticking up, usually two to three feet deep. So what I'm looking for is something I can put right over the top of that vegetation and pick up those fish that are sitting down in there. So what I figured I needed, I need something like a 1.5 square bill. Something's going to get down there about two, three feet deep. Yeah, you're going to hang up in the vegetation every once in a while, but get this down in close, pull those fish out that are sitting just down in there in that shallow water. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this 1.5. I saw a pattern in one of the old catalogs, and I believe it was called Pearl Blue Lime. Now, my lime is the pearl paint, so I guess in this situation, we're going to do Pearl Lime Blue. Let's go give her a shot. Okay, get us started here. Let's get a base coat on. Create text. Opaque white. This is the blank, as I said, with the fancy laser eyes. I always thought those looked pretty cool. It's amazing why we buy things, isn't it? It's not because, is that going to be a better lure that's going to catch more fish, or does it got those really cool laser eyes? Uh, what we get impressed with, right? All right, it's white. Let me clean up. We'll move on to some colors. All right, we're going to start out with the bottom. Paint the bottom half. We're going to go about to the lateral line in the middle. We're going to use Createch Transparent Caribbean Blue. So go Caribbean Blue for the belly. There we go. I'm not going to get in too far up in there. A lot of bleed over. That's okay. That's going to be covered up. And that's the way we're going to leave that one. That's it. Let me clean this up real quick. We'll move on. Get the blue out of there. And you've watched me in the past. There's all kinds of commercial cleaners you can use here and there. As you see, I'm just using water. That's what I use. All right. Top side. Createx Pearlized Lime. Go with lime next. Sure you get underneath that nose good. Go down that side real well. It should blend down in there good. We got that. That's all there is to that. Kind of simple, isn't it? But, got a little something we're going to add to it. So let me dry this really good with the heat gun before we step on to the next part. We have one more step to take. That's Createx Opaque Red. Gonna need a little of that, but this time, just put a little bit on the plate here. Gonna go with the Q-tip. Just gonna put some of that on the Q-tip. Pop him once right there. Pop him once right there. They also took, and they had a little around the gill plates. So we're going to see. I'm usually not very good at this. The guy could probably just leave it right where it's at. Am I under the camera? Yeah, i got to make sure I'm under the camera so you can actually see what I'm doing here. huh? This one's got kind of an odd gill plate to it than some of the others with the single. Well, it's... Very, not very professional, right? Not what we would call real professional looking. But you know what? Why do I have a feeling the fish would probably care less, right? All right, that's it. Let it all dry really good. And that's going to take a little more time to dry because the paint's a little thicker. We're going to let that dry. Eyes, top coat, and we'll see what we got with the laser eye. 
And if you don't let everybody, there we go, Bob. That's fish. That's a little better than it. A little better than my last one, I'll guarantee that. Yeah. That's about like the first one. Here we go, guys. That is my pearl lime blue. I don't remember what it was called, but pearl lime blue is my name for it. There you go. He's about like the first one, maybe a little smaller. Well, there we go, guys. There is the pearl, lime, and blue. And as you can see, it did pick up a fish. Matter of fact, I think I picked up two or three that day. And it worked just as a plan. Got out in that four or five, six feet of water with a couple feet of vegetation, and we ran those 1.5s right over the top of that. And Bob and I both picked up some fish. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.